Hi, I'm Caleb Giddings from Gun Nuts Media. Today's video we're going to be talking about one of my favorite striker fired pistols that's out on the market right now, the Beretta APX. In this video we're going to cover three important topics. We're going to cover which APX I think you should buy, we're going to cover what upgrades you can do to that APX once you buy it, and last but not least, we're going to cover a couple of the options for holsters that are out there on the market that work for the APX, both for competition and for concealment. Let's get going. Alright, so the first question is, which APX should you buy? There's five-ish models of the APX out there, although three of those are variants of the full size. If you break it down just by sizes, there's three. You have the APX full size, which is this one. You have the APX Centurion, which is this one. And last but not least, you have the APX Compact, this one. The differences in the sizes are pretty straightforward. The full size has a 4-inch barrel and a 17-round magazine. It's similar in size to the Glock 19X. More on that later. The Centurion is sort of in between a Glock 26 and a Glock 19 in size. It has a 15 round magazine, so it's got a full firing grip on it, but it has a short barrel, about 3.5 inches. In fact, it shares the same barrel length as the Compact, which only has a 13 round magazine. So given that information, which of these do I think is the best choice? Well, the answer is actually very simple at least for me. I think that you should buy, if you're going to get a Beretta APX, the APX full size. And here's why. I like guns that are easy to shoot well. Of the family of APX pistols, the full size is the easiest to shoot well. And again, because it's kind of Glock 19 sized, it's got that butter zone of a short skirt and a long jacket. I mean, excuse me, a short slide and a long grip. People seem to really like that for a gun that tracks flat in recoil and is easy to shoot. Plus, when you use the proper holster, the APX full size is relatively easy to conceal. Now that you've picked the gun that you're going to purchase, let's talk about upgrades for the APX. Alright, so let's talk about the most important and the first upgrade I recommend for the APX, and that is sending the frame to Boresight Solutions for their competition package. The reality of the situation with a lot of these modern polymer pistols is that they're too smooth. They're just too smooth in places that you want texture, like right here on the pistol. The Boresight Solutions competition packages is available on a wide number of pistols and it gives the pistol texture exactly where you actually want it. I went one step extra on my Boresight package and I had them add the stippling under the trigger guard so that my support hand can hook up on this pistol. The next upgrade that I recommend for the Beretta APX is this little green thing. Now, What is this, you're probably wondering to yourself. Well, let me tell you, this is the reduced power striker spring for the Beretta APX. And what it does is it takes the trigger, which is already a pretty decent trigger. All right, the APX has a good trigger out of the box. It's about six pounds in my non-modified models. With this, you drop this spring in in replace of the existing striker spring, and you're down to a four and a half pound trigger. That's a huge difference. And it's a trigger that you can compete with, that you can shoot well with, but is also still safe to carry, in my estimation, in a striker fired handgun. All right? I don't like to put crazy lightweight triggers in my striker fired guns, especially ones that have a fully prepped sear like the APX. Now there is one thing that I did forget to mention when I was talking about APX models. When you buy your APX full size, I recommend getting the RDO model. The RDO model is the one that allows you to mount a red dot sight to the slide. I think that is an important thing to have. I think that's going to be the way most handguns come from now on. So go ahead and do yourself a favor. Get the RDO version. 
Now that I've gotten that out of the way, let's get back to the modifications. Lightweight striker spring is an absolute must have. The other one that I like affects the way the gun tracks in recoil. The other upgrade that I like for the APX is currently available on the market, and it's a heavyweight recoil spring assembly manufactured by Beretta. It's probably about 15 to 20% heavier than the factory spring, and when I shot the gun side by side with first the factory spring and the heavier spring in it, the gun tracked much flatter in recoil using the heavy spring. So I like that heavier weight recoil spring assembly. I have it in the gun and it is available from Beretta's web store uh, right now. It's also available with the competition spring as part of the package. But that's what it looks like. Just an ordinary steel recoil spring hanging out in the gun. But I like it. I think it's a must have upgrade for the APX. Now, you guys notice I recommend getting the APX RDO. That's because I believe in red dot handguns. Beretta does not currently have suppressor height sights available for the APX, but I've been told by my contacts at Beretta that those will be available starting around January of 2019, SHOT Show timeframe. So what that means is once those come out, those are automatically going to be a must-have upgrade for your APX RDO. Now last but not least, let's real briefly talk about available holsters and aftermarket options for the gun. If you want to carry your APX concealed, there's really only two choices that I've found that meet my needs for concealed carry. The first choice for carrying the APX concealed that I found that really works for what I do is from North Central Illinois Custom Kydex. I probably got their name wrong. I get it wrong all the time. But this is a fairly straightforward appendix carry inside the waistband holster. It uses the Raven Concealment System wing claw. It makes this gun very easy to carry concealed. And that's why I believe in this gun as the best choice of the APX family is because with a good holster like this one, you'll be able to easily carry it concealed. Now really the only other option I've found that works for the APX in concealed carry for my purposes is this. This is the floodlight from Filster. We've already done a video reviewing this. Essentially it's a multi-fit appendix carry inside the waistband holster that retains the gun off of the light. It has to be a Surefire X300, just like you see on this M9A1, and that's what you're going to use for the tension on the holster. This works with the APX. I put the light on the APX, I tested it on the holster, retention's great, fit is great. So if you're going to carry an APX with a light on it, this is your pretty much only choice, is the Filster Floodlight right now. Now, if you want to use your APX for competition shooting, your options are somewhat limited. Luckily, Beretta has a Kydex holster that you can buy on their website for like 50 bucks that works just fine. That's it. Those are pretty much your choices for holsters for the APX because, unfortunately, as much as I like it as a striker-fired platform, it hasn't been widely adopted. It hasn't been widely accepted. I hope that you guys that see this video see how much I like it, are interested in it. Maybe you go out and you try one out at your local range or you go and shoot someone and then you come back here and you buy all this cool gear that I've recommended. I do like the APX. It's a good solid striker fired platform and just to hit up those, those top points of this video, in summary, get the APX full size RDO, get the lightweight striker spring from Beretta, get the heavy recoil spring assembly from Beretta, and then get a Filster Floodlight and an X300 or a, an AIWB holster from North Central Illinois Custom Kydex. I'm Caleb Giddings. Until next time, run your gun, not your mouth.